In this tutorial, you will learn how to design 3D printable objects with threaded surfaces, such as screw caps, bolts and nuts, in Blender. A basic threaded surface is very easy to model in Blender, just create a thread profile, such as this broken line, and apply the screw modifier to it. However, a surface created this way is not very practical. The thread profile needs to flatten gradually as we move to the top or bottom of the thread. In other words, we need to go from this, to this. We have developed an online calculator which generates a Python script producing a thread surface with a flattening profile. This calculator can be found at this address. The calculator allows you to specify the inner and outer radii of the thread profile, and the heights of the four line segments comprising the profile. To demonstrate the capabilities of this calculator, we will model and 3D print a jar with a screw cap, which can be used to store bolts, nuts, or small electronic components. To make things more interesting, the jar and cap will be equipped with knurled surfaces. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Press 5 on the numeric keypad to switch to the orthographic mode. We will be modeling a jar with dimensions shown on this drawing. We will model the jar itself first, and then the screw cap for it. Let's begin by modeling the thread surface of the jar. There are two loops in the thread. The inner radius is 30 mm. The thread depth is 2.5 mm. The thread profile is defined by the following numbers, 2 mm, half a mm, 2 mm, and half a mm. In the calculator, enter 2 for the number of loops, 32.5 for the outer radius, 30 for the inner radius, and 2, 0 0.5, 2, and 0 0.5 for the heights. Press Calculate. Press Ctrl-C, to copy the generated script to the clipboard. Back in Blender, open a new window. Select Text Editor for the window type. Press New. Paste the script from the clipboard. Press Run Script. Press Tab to enter the edit mode. Press Remove Doubles in the Tools tab. Press Ctrl N, to fix the normals. Select these two vertices. Press 7 to switch to the top view. Press Spin. Enter 256 for steps, and 360 for angle. The step number must match the vertices per loop number in the calculator. Select everything and press Remove Doubles. Select the upper loop of vertices, and the loop right below it. Deselect these vertices. Press W, and select Bridge Edge Loops. Press Ctrl R, and add three loop cuts. Roughly align the loops on the right with the loops on the left, by selecting a loop, and pressing G twice. Fill the gap with four faces. Also create a face over a small triangular hole, on top. Repeat the same procedure at the bottom. Extrude the upper loop upwards by 2.5 mm, and lower one downwards, by the same amount. Select the upper loop. Press Shift S, and select Cursor to select it. Add a circle. Enter 256 for the number of vertices, and 26 for radius. Bridge the two loops together.
Select the bottom loop. Press Shift S, and select cursor to select it. Add a circle. Enter 256 for the number of vertices, and 35 for radius. Bridge the two loops together. Select the outer loop and extrude it downwards by 26. Press E to extrude, and press Enter. Press Alt-M, and select its center. Select the top, inner loop. Extrude it downwards by 41. Press E to extrude, then Enter, then merge at center. To model an earled surface, let's go to Layer 2. Add a plane. In the Edit mode, press X, and select Delete Only Faces. Press A to select everything. Press W and select Subdivide. Enter 5 for the number of cuts. Cover the plane with faces as follows. Select the center face and raise it by half a millimeter by pressing G, then Z, then 0.5, then Enter. Select everything. Duplicate by pressing Shift D, then Enter. Create a mirror image along the X axis by pressing S, then X, then minus 1, then Enter. Move to the right by 2, by pressing G, then X, then 2, then Enter. Select everything. Duplicate by pressing Shift D, then Enter. Create a mirror image along the Y axis by pressing S, then Y, then minus 1, then Enter. Move upwards by pressing G, then Y, then 2. Select everything. Press Remove Doubles. Press Ctrl N, to fix the normals. Rotate around the X axis by negative 90 degrees. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Press Ctrl A and select Apply Rotation. We have modeled the basic tile for our knurled surface. The size of the tile is 4 mm. We need the knurling surface to be 20 mm in height, or 5 tiles. The width must equal the circumference of the jar, which is 70 times pi. 70 times pi is approximately 220, or 55 tiles. Add the Array modifier. Enter 55 for count. Check the merge box. Press apply. Add another array modifier. Enter 5 for count. Enter 0 for X offset, and 1 for Z offset. Check the merge box. Press apply. Add the simple deform modifier. Select bend. Enter 360 for angle. Press apply. In the edit mode, select everything and press remove doubles. Select the upper loop of vertices. Press Ctrl S, and select cursor to select it. Press Shift Alt S for the to sphere operation, and then 1, to turn this loop into a perfect circle. Do the same for the lower loop of vertices. Exit the edit mode. Press Set Origin, and select Origin to Geometry. Duplicate this object by pressing Shift D. Move it to Layer 1. Back in Layer 1, select the jar, enter the Edit Mode, and remove these faces. Select the upper and lower loops. Press Ctrl S, and select Cursor to select it. Exit the Edit Mode. Select the Neuraled Surface. Press Ctrl S, and select Selection to Cursor. Select both objects, and join them by pressing Ctrl J. Enter the Edit Mode, and bridge the gaps at the top and bottom, via the Bridge Edge Loops operation.
Press Shift Control Alt M to test for non manifold geometry. Since nothing got highlighted, all is well, and we are done with the jar. Now let's model the screw cap. The thread surface for the cap does not need a flattening profile. Go back to the calculator page. Enter a large number such as 20 for the number of loops. We need to leave a gap between the inner and outer threads. A half a millimeter gap is sufficient. Enter 33 for the outer radius, and 30.5 for the inner radius. Enter a large number such as 20 for the profile falloff rate. Press Calculate. Copy the generated script to the clipboard. Back in Blender, go to a new layer. Paste the script to the text editor window and press Run Script. Enter the edit mode. Press Remove Doubles. Press Ctrl N to fix the normals. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. We will carve the thread surface out of the middle of this object using the Boolean modifier. Add a plane. Scale it up until it is large enough to enclose the thread object. Move it up by 20. Enter the edit mode. Extrude upwards by 21, which is the height of the inner surface of the cap. Select the thread surface. Add the boolean modifier. Select the box for the object. Press apply. Delete the box. Delete the flat faces at the top and bottom. Select the upper loop of vertices and examine it for continuity. Do the same for the lower loop. Note the number of vertices in the selection. There are 258 in our case. Press Ctrl S and select cursor to select it. We need the cursor's x and y coordinates to be 0. Press N to open the side panel and enter zeros for the x and y coordinates of the 3D cursor. Add a circle. Enter 258 for the number of vertices and 35 for radius. Bridge the two loops together. The operation is not giving us the desired result. Use the following trick, select everything, press Ctrl N to fix the normals and check the inside checkbox. Try the bridging again. Select the upper loop of vertices. Press E to extrude, then enter. Merge at center. Select the outer loop at the bottom. Extrude upwards by 26. Press E to extrude, then enter. Merge at center. Delete the outer faces. Select the lower and upper outer loops. Press Ctrl S and select cursor to select it. Exit the edit mode. Press Set Origin and select Origin to 3D cursor. Go to the layer where the knurled surface is. Move it to the screw cap layer. Press Ctrl S and select Selection to cursor. Select the two objects and join them together by pressing Ctrl J. In the edit mode, select the upper outer loop and extrude it downwards by 2 mm. Bridge the upper and lower gaps using the bridge edge loops operation. Select the upper outer loop and create a bevel by pressing Ctrl B. Enter 10 for the number of segments. Press Shift Ctrl Alt M to check for non manifold geometry. Since nothing got highlighted, all is well, and we are finished. And that concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.